Hey, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pneumatic gun right here. Now, what I really like about this one is that it's made out of a lot of household materials, a couple different size syringes and tubes you can get from hobby stores. So, you can anyone can make it at home. And that shot there, I think it bounced off the styrofoam first. But uh, this one here, I shoot a hole in the cups, and I'll show you what it looks like. So it's pretty powerful, as you can see. And um, I'll try putting a hole through a can. And uh, so I'm just preparing it to shoot. And um, I fire it into the can. And it does put a little bit of a hole, but doesn't go through. The bullet's sharpened, so it made a little bit of a dent in it. And one more at styrofoam cups, and this one I miss. But you can still hear how loud it is when it hits the styrofoam. So to start off, we're going to need a couple syringes, a small one, a big one, and I start off by drilling a hole in the small syringe. Now the small syringe is actually going to be used basically as a, a pressure valve. So when it builds up to a certain amount of pressure, it releases and, um, and the gun fires. So I just drilled it out there to um, put the hole in there and then got rid of the burrs. Now I took the, the rubber gasket off of the... Um, the small syringe and added some glue so it stays on well. It stays on better than original originally because it needs to stay on really tight there. Now I'm going to drill into a piece of wood and this is going to be just the reason why I do this is it makes an easy way to connect everything. So I drill a hole in there and this first hole just needs to be the size of the small syringe. So I go ahead and drill. I actually don't drill all the way through, but you can drill all the way through. I end up drilling all the way through later. Push the small syringe in. And now I want to make another hole that goes in to intercept the hole we drilled in the small syringe. So that, that hole there on an angle is going to connect with the big hole. And we want it to connect where the hole of the small syringe would be. So now I just make the hole a little bigger so I can stick some of that pipe in there. That, that tubing I have and now the tubing slides in and if you blow into the tubing it should blow through the hole in the small syringe out the end of the small syringe and now I just finished drilling all the way through there and stick the small syringe through and then after that I stick the tube I stick a tube onto the end of it so it connects just to the very front of the uh, small syringe and then attaches to the big syringe and then here's the other tube that will um, go to the hole of it. And it doesn't actually connect to the hole but like the passage of air leads to it. So now I'm going to just put some glue around this so everything's airtight. The wood was splitting a bit so I glued around the wood too so no air would escape through the wood because the splits in the wood. And I just need to glue everything so everything is perfectly airtight. Now I'm just going to roll up some um, paper and I'm just using this as for structure basically, nothing else. So it's fairly self explanatory. This one I did as small as I possibly could and it ended up being a pretty good size. The size doesn't really matter, it's just um, for structure. So we tape it off. Oh, so I roll in a, a bigger one, and this one I just roll off the small one. And then I tape that one up too, and then I'll take the small one out from inside of it. And there we go, now we have two rolls, one bigger, one slightly smaller. So I cut the big one first, and I'm just going to put it over that just to kind of hide it I guess and also give it some structure and then I'll glue around the base of it so it straightens the tube out on the inside and again it's just for structure and now because I'm going to have to connect the tube I'm adding some super glue to the big piston just around it so when the tube the tube that's inside of that paper roll there when it connects it'll stay glued in there well and when there's lots of air pressure it's not going to pop off and then I add some glue to just seal it up so don't forget inside of that roll of paper is a um, is a, the tube that hold that where the air goes through and now I'm just adding another 
roll of paper on just for more structure. So that our gun basically stays straight. And now I'm going to add one and this is where the barrel is going to rest. So it just is to make, I'm just laying out basically a sheet of paper so I can glue the um, barrel on top. And now I can cut this one down. And now for my barrel I just have a brass tube from a hobby store. And the bullet that I use for it is just going to be a, a smaller piece of um, smaller piece of metal that fits perfectly inside of the brass tube. You could also use say like a straw and like a spitball for it too if you don't want to go out and find something. Basically you just need a barrel and then a bullet that fits perfectly inside of it to make an airtight seal. So I push the barrel into the, um, the tube there. And now it's actually functional so I can test fire it as you can see. And if you just want to see how to fire it, so what I do is I pull the, um, the small syringe backwards. I pull the big syringe out, load it with the bullet. Now the small syringe I'm going to push back in and then I fire it and it's really hard to shoot. But the way it works is the um, the small syringe, when the pressure builds up enough, the small syringe will fire, will push out backwards and then the air escapes through the big syringe into the barrel of the gun. And now I'm just going to cut out a piece of styrofoam just to cover everything up with. So I just traced out the gun and then drew a little bit of a gun design. And I'm going to actually have to make two of those, one for each side of the gun. And that's just going to get glued on to each side of the gun there. And then I'll add a few more pieces of styrofoam to cover up the bottom and the top. Yeah, there we go. There's the styrofoam on the bottom and the top. That's all optional. And that is the end of the gun. And here are just a few more test fires. Some of them misses. Anyways, this is the end of the video. So if you like it, definitely watch, um, check out a couple more, more of my videos. And feel free to like and subscribe to my channel and also check out my website if you'd like. Thanks for watching.